You can't see it now, but God can take your L's today and turn them into W's for tomorrow. Hey, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. Now, is there some part of your life, even huge parts of your life, that you wish were different? Maybe somebody else hurt you or you were the active agent and made some big mistakes hurting yourself and others. If we're honest, everyone has some piece of history they would want to change in their past. And though we can't do that, God is still using that broken part of life to do something new and good. That's what we'll read about today with Beauty Out of Brokenness by Julia Faith Stewart. Do you wish parts of your life were different? Perhaps a broken relationship, a shattered home, a selfish decision, or a misguided choice. Pieces that seem too jagged and broken to fit together into anything remotely beautiful. Ever since sin entered our world, we all have brokenness in our lives. But God can work through our stories, just as he did through Joseph's. In Genesis 37, we see how Joseph's own brothers sold him into slavery. They were filled with jealousy because of their father's wrongful favoritism of Joseph, and their anger was stirred up by Joseph's sinful pride. One day they attacked him, throwing him into a pit and then sending him to faraway Egypt. Joseph was forced to leave behind his home and his father, Jacob, who grieved for the son he thought had been killed. Joseph's life in Egypt was hard, yet Genesis 39.3 says, The Lord was with him and gave him success in everything he did. Joseph was eventually put in charge of his Egyptian master's entire household, but then he was wrongfully accused of a crime he didn't commit and thrown into prison. However, through the hand of the Lord, he went from the dungeon to being second in command over all Egypt. God worked through Joseph to save the people of Egypt and surrounding lands from a devastating famine. When his brothers came to Egypt, desperate for food for themselves and their families, Joseph recognized them and was filled with emotion. After testing them, he revealed his true identity to his brothers, and they were tearfully reunited. Though Joseph's life was full of pain and heartache, God used the mistakes and sins of Joseph and his family to bring about his own good purposes. That's what we read in Genesis 50 verse 20. Israel was saved from starvation, and generations later, God fulfilled his promise to bring a Savior, Jesus Christ, through their family. God can take the most broken parts of our lives and make them beautiful. Let's dig into this devotion a little deeper. Though it's easy for us to focus on how our situations look in the present, God sees the bigger picture. He's working all things together for good. How could this truth give us hope? Joseph and his family were real people with real emotions. Joseph felt the pain that resulted from being betrayed by his brothers, who were supposed to love and protect him. When they were reunited, he sobbed so loudly that all of Pharaoh's household heard him. How could it be encouraging to know that the people in the Bible dealt with brokenness and pain just like us? Now, as you and I can read in Romans 8, 28, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And dig into the Bible for yourself and read Genesis 37, verses 1 through 36, then chapter 45, 1 through 15, and finally, chapter 50, verses 15 through 21, to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource from Keys for Kids Ministries. Do you ever think about how many times you pick up your phone or check your lock screen for notifications? How about adding some encouragement to that with some verse picks from Unlock? Each quarter gets new custom artwork with a theme verse to remind you of God's love for you. Check them out and download them at unlocked.org slash verse picks. And come back for tomorrow's devotion with Natalie. When you feel like you have no one who cares, no one you can turn to, you can always turn to God. But until then, I'm Dylan, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.